a businesswoman, entrepreneur, CEO, self-made millionaire, mother. Today, you're gonna see the most extravagant pieces in my closet. Hello, hello, call me. Anybody there? My name is Fatima Love, and I run a multi-million dollar beauty empire, AFL Beauty Bar. We're located in New York, Miami, LA, Atlanta. We're growing to Dallas and Texas, and I anticipate to be in all 50 states. Growing up, we didn't really have much. I am, you know, the child of immigrant refugee parents, so we had the very bare minimum. I was homeless, I was hungry, and I lived in a freaking refugee camp. And this is just such a dream come true, really. It really is a dream come true. Like, I don't even know how I got here. Today, you're gonna see the most extravagant pieces in my closet. These are my vintage Chanel bags. These are limited edition collectible pieces and I have three of them. These bags are so incredibly dear to me. They were my favorite piece in my closet just because when I was younger and I had nothing, I envisioned myself as an entrepreneur boss and I bought the bag to make me fit the lifestyle and I manifested it for myself. So these are my favorite. When I first bought each item, they were between three to $5,000 a piece. And now they are at 22,000 each y'all. So I would absolutely sell these just because that's a down payment on another apartment. <laughs> um, I would sell these now because they're going for so much. Not only would I sell these bags, I have actually given them away to important people on my company that have proven themselves at AFL Beauty Bar. I've invited so many people into my closet, even actually when I didn't have that much, just because I've been that person that I would always take what I had and offer it to others to make them feel good about themselves. These are my Christian Louboutin Daffodil Strass Swarovski Crystal shoes. And I would absolutely give these away because these hurt my feet and I do not wear them. These cost me about $7,000. I would give these away because I know how much they made me happy and I would want to give that to someone, to give them that confidence and to give them that, you know, a Bronx girl fairy tale princess, just to give them that feeling because that's how I felt like a princess when I had these shoes. The item that I'm gonna ditch would be these Tom Ford pump heels with the lock, they're brand new. I paid $1,500 for them, but I never wore them, so I would ditch these. I do not regret buying these. They look pretty in my closet, they look pretty in their home, so I don't regret buying them, but y'all can have them. I do shop often. In my 20s, I would say that every single check that I had did not go to rent, it went to shoes or bags. But now that I'm maturing, I'd like to say that it's not as much of my addiction as it used to be. But I'm lying. It's still a problem. But don't tell my husband. So right now we're in my beautiful apartment, which cost me about 800 grand. Um, but this is my upgrade. And this is my updated, lavish, beautiful apartment that we just purchased at 11. And this set me back 1.5. But we are now official resident owners. I bought this apartment about six months ago. Um, it was a great idea, it was a great investment. We always wanted to have like a nice vacation home in Miami because we travel back and forth. So this was something that we wanted to have for ourselves. And I'm really happy. What I would really, really love to upgrade and I'm working on it is upgrading to a beautiful, gorgeous mansion that is huge so that my family and I have space. So I'm working on that. Stay tuned. So if God forbid um, there was an emergency or something and I had to absolutely run out and only grab something in my whole closet, I would grab my jewelry. This is close to half a million dollars and it's not big and it's not heavy. This was the first gold watch Rolex that I bought my man. This was about 30 grand. He loves his Rolexes. This is when I had a baby. I got myself a gift and I got daddy a gift too. That's about 15,000. My grills that you cannot be gangster without grills. You know what I'm saying? I have to be gangster. These are about 15,000 for my diamond platinum grills. My watch is on 30, this Imperial Diamond Chopard. 
This represents so much to me because it's the Lady of Fatima, that's my name, and this piece was 10K alone. The necklace set me back about 75 grand because it's 40 carats and diamonds and they're large stones. And then of course we had to get one for daddy in platinum. This one is about like 80, 85. Yes, these are all coming with me. God forbid if there ever is a fire, I'm out with these. It is the most amazing feeling to now be able to get whatever I want without thinking of the price. My favorite thing to spend money on would be my family. I live and breathe for my family. I'm literally their slave. <laughs> I'll do it all for my family. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.